two. And what we need to do on an arithmetic series is to keep adding consistently another number or possibly even that same number but think of any number and continue to add that number um, to find a new number so in this case we start with 2 why don't we add 3 to that we get 5 add 3 again we get 8 add 3 again we get 11 3 again we get 14 Three again we get 17 so yeah you get the idea so you keep on adding three all the time so you'd expect 20 to be after the 17 okay so let's start a two that's what this arithmetic series says it's going to start at two therefore we can say a is two so a is our starting number if you like which is quite standard. Um, what is the common difference? What's this common difference that we're adding to one value to get the next value? Well, in this particular case, we chose the common difference. And we'll underline the D for difference there. So ID is chosen. Um, we obviously realized that D was three. Okay. And yeah, we just add in here, um, it's added to the previous entry to get the next entry, of course. Okay, let's have a look at some formulae involved in arithmetic series. And the first one I'd like to look at is a formula to find the nth term okay so if you're thinking of the third term n would be three if you're thinking of the sixth term n would be six get the idea so in general it's the nth term <clears throat> right so how do we go about finding this well the nth term is a plus n minus 1 lots of d that's the formula you use and you just plug in your values um, with any given arithmetic series so let's have a look at an example um, a seventh term okay one two three four five six you've got six given the seventh term we just use that formula a we know is two uh, we put the minus one in the brackets there we know that n is seven so seven minus one goes there that whole bracketed term multiplies d and of course we know that d is three okay and so we're going to simplify that lot out 7 minus 1 gives you 6, 6 times 3 gives you 18, 2 plus 18 gives you 20. Okay, so the 20 is the 7th term, so it comes after the 17, so indeed it will go in there, and yeah, it looks right. So we're quite happy with that. What about uh, the sum of so many terms? Okay, so the sum of n terms. And we can write that as Sn or S subscript little n. And the formula is n over 2 lot of all this lot 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d okay here's a closing bracket there okay let's have a look at an example use for that one um, how about the sum of 
the first four terms. S4. Okay, so we're going to write S subscript 4 is equal to, and we just use the formula. Okay, so we get N over 2. N here is 4. 4 over 2 lots of. 2 lots of A. Well, in this case, we know that A is 2 plus n minus 1, 4 minus 1, lots of d, and d has a value of, yep, 3. So we put a 3 in there, and close that bracket, so that bracket there matches that opening bracket there, okay. And then we're looking to simplify that lot out. So therefore, the sum of the first four terms is going to be 4 over 2 gives you the 2, 2 2 is 4, so 2 lots of 4 plus 4 minus 1 gives you 3, 3 3 is a 9, okay, so that's 2 lots of 13, um, which of course is 26. Okay, so what we're saying is the sum of the first four terms in this arithmetic series is 26. So there's those four terms, add them up. 2 and 5 is 7, 7 and 8 is 15, 15 and 11, 26. Good. So we have that one right. Excellent. Now let's see if we can move on and consider some geometric series. Geometric series. Okay. Why don't we start by writing down a typical geometric series? How about this one? Two and what I now need to do is to think well what is a geometric series well as it says in your workbook you have to multiply by a particular term consistently so you're going to multiply everything by 3 so 2 by 3 gives the 6 6 by 3 gives 18 by 3 gives 54 by 3 gives 162 etc 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 you could carry on after 162 and of course you would get you guessed right 486 okay so let's have a look and notice some things about this particular geometric series it started to therefore we can say a equals 2 nice and easy Another thing we can notice is that there is a common ratio. Okay, so there's no difference here. The difference belongs to the arithmetic series. So there's a common ratio, and it's 3, because that was the number we were multiplying by each time to get the next term. So r equals 3. So let's just emphasize here, new term is 3 times previous term okay let's see if we can look at some formulae then for geometric series and the first one we'll look at predictably is what is the nth term okay so we need a formula for the nth term and again, it's given in your workbook. Uh, we'll reproduce it here. A R to the n minus one. Okay, let's do an example use of that. Um, that's the series we're interested in. 
let's concentrate on possibly finding the fourth turn. Find the fourth turn. Okay, and we know, of course, that it is sitting there. It's 54. But we could be asked to find the 97th turn or the 1,356,000th turn. And then you wouldn't sit there and keep on multiplying by three each time. You'd be there forever. So that's why you need a formula to help you to ascertain all of these values. Okay, so the objective here then is to find that fourth term. So we can start writing then the fourth term equals, and we're just using the formula, a r to the n minus 1. a is the first term, which we know is 2. r is our common ratio, which we know to be, yep, 3. And we can find out what the common ratio is. If you're just giving, given the series like this, then you work out the common ratio by get one term divided by the previous term. Um, so we could pick 18 and divide it by the previous term, which is 6, and you end up with r equals 3. And you could do the same with 162 over 54. So you're going to put 3 in there, and that is raised, as it says, in red there above to the power n minus 1 which is 4 minus 1 so 2 lots of 3 to the 3 yep which is 2 lots of 27 yep 3 by 3 by 3 is 27 and 2 27s is of course 54 so what we're saying is our formula is correct because the formula says the fourth term should be 54 and indeed we see that is uh, we're very happy with that excellent okay now the last thing i'd like to do is to find the sum of n terms okay so we can write that as s as n um, as we did previously and the formula as you see in your workbook is a lots of 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r okay I'll scroll down a bit and now we're looking possibly let's do an example we can see this more clearly uh, let's see if we can find the sum of the first four terms. Okay, written like this. Um, S4 equals, again, there's the formula there in red. Uh, we just plug in our values. So we know the value of A. Okay, so we're going to put that value in. A was the starting value, which was 2. Lots of 1 minus R to the N. Well, you know what R is here. In this example, you've chosen R to be 4. Uh, sorry, you've chosen um, N to be 4. So 1 minus 3 to the 4. Okay over 1 minus r, so 1 minus 3. Okay, and this thing simplifies to 2 lots of 1 minus 3 to the 4, so 3 by 3 by 3 by 3, which sounds a bit like 81. Okay, that's good. And that all sits over 1 minus 3, of course, is minus 2. Okay, so we're almost there on this. So what we can say is S4, or the sum of the first four terms, is 2 lots of, well, 1 minus 81, sounds like minus 80, and that all sits over minus 2. Okay, um, some cancellations, the minuses cancel, the 2s cancel, 
and we're proposing the sum of the first four terms is 80. So let's go back and have a look upstairs. The sum of the first four terms, so this lot here, so you're going to add them up. That's 2 plus 6 gives us 8. 8 onto 18 gives you 26. 26 add 54 does indeed give you 80. So we're happy with that. Okay, see you in the next video.